Yo, yo, yo. You know who it is. It's your boy, Lamborghini Prime, Back again, once again, talking this boxing shit. And, um, yeah, I know I'm a little late with this one, but... I feel like I still need to talk about it because... It's going to lead to some of my other videos that's coming out a little later on today. So, without no further ado, we speak on the, Anthony, the recent Anthony Joshua versus Carlos Tackham fight. It was, um... In my opinion, I mean, tack them for hard, but this shit was still one-sided. And to be honest, man, that stoppage was fucking borderline disgr- disgraceful, man. <laughs> no excuse for stopping the fight there, man. I mean, I, I didn't like it. I also didn't like the fact that Joshua was gassing, you know, the way that he was. He wasn't, um, I don't know, man. He just seemed, he reminded me a lot of Canelo, man. Them boys, no matter what they seem to do, because everybody say that Joshua should maybe lose some of the muscle mass, and I can agree with that, but if he lose some of the muscle mass, what goes along with that? Like, does he lose power? Does he lose, like, does he get even more tired earlier? Does his stamina suffer even more? Does What happens, you know? I mean, maybe it does improve him. I'm not really an expert in that area as far as muscle mass and, you know, how it applies to the fight game specifically. But, um, I don't know, man. He just look he looks like a huge, he looked huge in that fight, way bigger than Tackham. And he, he looked like just a huge lumbering guy. And like everybody says, man, to move around that much muscle, take a lot of, a lot of steam out of you, you know, and getting hit also takes a lot of steam out of you. So you combine, the two plus also you know missing and you know just keeping up a high punch output will take a lot out of you but i will say this about joshua man his jab looked lovely his combos came off nice he missed a few but tackling wasn't the easy guy to hit and he was still hitting him two three shots for a guy that big man that was really impressive in my opinion really impressive tack him i mean he was the same guy we've seen before but um his chin his chin must be respected. And to be honest, I think he's a he's good competition for most high-level fighters. It would have been a good fight for just about any of the champions, with the exception of Wilder. Wilder probably would have stretched him within five rounds. But everybody else, it would have been a you know competitive fight. I don't think he beats anybody, but they're competitive. He might have a shot against Parker, but maybe not. You know, Parker is a little better than we give him credit for. But it is what it is. So, um, shit, in conclusion, I'm just going to have to say congratulations, my boy, Anthony Joshua. I fucked with you the long way, G. I like what I see from you. But, man, you might want to cut out some of that weight, man. If I'm not mistaken, just off the top of my head, I do remember they said um, you came into the fight weighing like 250, 260, somewhere around there. That's crazy, dog. That's a huge, that's that's crazy. That's insane. I <laughs> Do you really need to be quite that big, you know? I mean, and I mean, it'd be one thing if it favored Joshua's style, but I just it doesn't seem to favor his style. A guy who runs off combinations and you know, really um smart boxer, being huge and lumbering like that doesn't help that situation. If he was more of a brawler or something like that, maybe I could see it, but he's not. So I don't know, man. Joshua need to come off some of that weight, man. And then, you know, I know uh, Wilder versus Joshua should be the very next fight, but I understand completely why Eddie Hearn is not in the rush to throw Joshua in there with Wilder because Wilder is unorthodox and he has a fucking cannon in his right hand. If he land on Joshua, it's good night. So I say Joshua take one one more fight, get his shit together, then go on and jump in that fire. You know what I'm saying? Fight my man Wilder. But, uh, yeah, that's it, man. Don't forget to check out my album. It's my turn, The Throne Ascension LP. It just got accepted to Pandora, so it'll be on Pandora, too. But right now, it's everywhere else, literally. Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, anywhere you can imagine. And, of course, my official website, HustleGameBoss.com. Come on, fuck with your boy one time, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't want to buy no records, which... It's some fuck shit, but, you know, some people, whatever, you might be a streaming nigga, that's cool, too, I'll take the streams, but, um, 
go in there and cop something, man. I got my official merchandise, my t-shirts, hats, fucking, I even got dog motherfucking bandanas and book bags and shit. <laughs> Check it out, hustlegameboss.com forward slash shop. All right, y'all, I'm out. One.